We will do our programming in FC60. FC60 has already been called from OB1. The IEC timers are located in the standard library system function blocks folder. Drag the pulse timer SFB3 to network 1. Since this is a system function block, a data block is required. Click on the three red question marks. Type the letters DB followed by a data block number that does not exist in the blocks folder of the project. We will make this one DB201 and press the Enter key. You'll see a message telling you that the data block does not exist and ask if you want to create one. Click Yes. DB201 has been created and placed in the blocks folder. Let's enter I0.0 as the start bit of the timer and press the Enter key. The time format for IEC timers is T pound followed by days, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. The maximum time value is 24 days, 20 hours, 31 minutes, 23 seconds, and 647 milliseconds. We will make this timer's value T pound 3 seconds and press the Enter key. Let's set the output to energize memory bit 66.0 and press the Enter key. Let's store the elapsed time value in memory double word 500. Save the block. Before downloading FC60, we need to be careful to make sure that data block 201 is downloaded first. All system functions and system function blocks are preloaded in the PLC's ROM and do not have to be downloaded. When FC60 gets downloaded, it will call SFB3. SFB3 will, in turn, call for DB201. If DB201 is not in the CPU, the processor will fault. Minimize the programming editor. At Somatic Manager, highlight DB201 and download it. Return to the programming editor and download FC60. Turn the monitoring glasses on. Make sure that Network 1 is highlighted because the program monitors from the highlighted network down. When I0.0 is energized, the output M66.0 is true while the timer times down and goes false when the timer times out. The input does not have to stay true for the timer to time to zero. Let's energize I0.0. This concludes the video on the IEC Pulse Timer System Function Block 3.